Hello and welcome to everybody on cloud fitness. So in today's video, we are going to move a step ahead and we are going to see how we can load JSON data into our relational table. So in our previous video, we have taken the data from the CSV file, from the JSON file app and we have loaded it into Snowflake. But in that particular scenario, the JSON data, everything came as it is into the one column, right? But now in this case, what we will try to do, so if it is a JSON data, we will try to pass that JSON, we will try to flatten that JSON and load it into proper columns. So moving ahead, right, uh, we will see that, uh, you know, how it can be loaded into a relational table directly from the stages, right, that we have been talking about. Uh, in the previous video as well. So we will actually try to modify the data when we try to do a copy activity. Okay, I'll exactly t tell about the change over here. So when we try to do the copy activity, right, which we have done uh, in the previous video, the copy command, sorry, not the activity. So the copy command, during the copy command itself, we will try to pass that particular JSON, right? We will try to write a query, which essentially pass that JSON. So here, essentially, we will be using few, uh, you know, functions, which is sub str or substring, right? We, we will be using substring, right, to get the portions of the string element. If you are not following right now, no worries. By the end of the video, you will understand everything, right, when you see it. Similarly, you are going to use parse JSON as well, right, which interprets an input string as a JSON document. We know that because parse JSON I have been, you know, talking about in my previous videos as well, in Databricks as well. So similarly, to timestamp, right, to cast a string element into the timestamp. So these few things we will be talking about, we will be using to build the query. Also, I will leave this particular link in the description box from where you can download the same JSON file which I have used for this demo, right? We, I am using sales.json and the same sales.json file you can also use and perform the same demo in your system as well. Similarly, when I talk about, you know, uh, loading the JSON file into Snowflake table, how does this happen? You have this JSON file, similar to the previous way, we are going to use put command to put it to a stage and from put, we are using copy activity into the table. Now, in this copy activity, we will be using the transformations, we will be using the functions to flatten the schema and put it across in the table. Now, the very first thing, right, like the previous one, what we need to do is we need to uh, create a table right because we are going to load the JSON data into a table so the very first thing is we need to create a table so let me just copy this particular command and move to the snowflake account right so this is the JSON table that we created in the last time right so this is how the data looked like right if you see this this is how essentially the data looks like in all in one column but in our case now we are going to create another table, which is a home sales table because I'm using a sales.csv file, right? So it has columns named as city, zip, state, type, sale date, and price. So let me just run this particular statement. And now in the my database, right? I have this home sales as, as well, right? I have this home sales table also available. Right now it does not have any data. So if I'm previewing the data, it has only these columns now after this right i will also show you let me show you the json file as well so uh, i have also kept the json file at a particular location you can keep it at any location that does not make much difference so let me show the sa uh, sales file to you right if you see the sales.json right how does it looks like it has location right inside this location it has state city right state and city are combined using this hyphen right so we need to pull out state separately we need to pull out city separately we can get zip we can get sale date and price and all these are the columns as well in my table right city state zip type sale date and price now as we move ahead right what we will do we will create a file format we know it already right we have been doing it our in our previous video we need to create a stage right to create a stage we need to define a file format and using that file format we are going to define uh, a stage so let me just you know create a file format first right so now let me go here and let me just uh, paste this and click let me just simply run it right it is just going to create a file format 
right and uh, this file format the delimiter is uh, the new line character right now i have this uh, uh, this file format and similarly i will also create a stage from this file format right now when i create a stage you can actually see that when i create the stage i'm using this previous file format let me just run this command as well and you will see that the stage has been successfully created and remember that you know you might be thinking that i'm using json file then why you know the format is a csv format right so essentially by default whenever you create any file format right it takes it as a csv format and whenever you're trying to load semi-structured data right you should always set it as a csv format to avoid any kind of errors so in snowflake even if you are using even if you are loading json format by default uh, first of all whenever you create a file format by default it will be a csv format right and specifically when you are trying to load json you should always set it to a csv format only right because when you are trying to do any kind of transformations in between right in case of json file format it might give you some issues but in case of csv it will still work well so always use csv when you are trying to create a file format for the json right so we have created if you see over here we have created a file format we have created a stage as well over here now stage is created file format is created what do we need to do we need to put the data into the uh, into the stage right now you can see that using the same put command right we can put the data in the stage let me just copy this command right now you can actually see you know we have the same command line that uh, we were using in our past video so let me just paste this put command now the moment i use this put command you will actually see that my stage actually has uh, you know uh, this particular data now you can also see the source sales.json target sales.json.gz so it has compressed it and stored it in the target stage so let me just uh, use the list command as well so now essentially uh, we have talked about this list command so now you have already seen that uh, you know we have put the data in this particular stage and we have list the stage like the previous one and we have got the details that okay in this stage we have this data now uh, the put command is done and then we also uh, now what do we need to do we need using uh, the stage that we have created we need to take the data from that stage and put it into the relational table that we have created now to take in the data now to take in the json data right uh, to uh, to take in the json data from the stage and put it into the relational table along with each and every column we have to write a query now this is the query the same query we have pasted it over here as well right this is what we have done now the top one two and three commands right this is nothing but this is my data now the 7 to 12 this is the query this is the query which we are trying to fire while doing the copy activity uh, by while doing the copy command now it says copy into home sales home sales is nothing but the table right now this table has city state zip sale date and price right these are the columns that this home sales have now it says select right substring it is using a substring function and inside substring it is trying to parse the json now this parse json is nothing but dollar one now dollar one is exactly what when i'm taking this json data and i'm loading it into the stage what it will do is it will load all of this data into one column right because in the previous uh, video i showed you everything gets loaded in one column we actually saw it as well right in the previous video we loaded my json table right let me just preview this data everything got loaded in the one table because in the stage also it was in one table it was in one column right in the similar way here as well it got loaded in, into the one column and that one column is referenced by dollar one right now it is saying parse that json parse this json which is present inside column one get me the location right get me the location from that location get me the city state uh, state city right now from this uh, state city give me substring from four from four the substring becomes this till the end right so this is how the first value city comes in 
similarly when it comes to the state right if you see it has the same value from the past json location dot state city give me a substring from 1 to 2 so 1 to 2 is nothing but the first two values right it is a typical substring of sql similarly you have something called a zip right now to zip as well it is simply passing that json and it is saying that okay from the location give me the zip right for the sale date sale date is, is not in the location right it is not in the location so directly it is saying that pass json and give me the sale date and convert it to the timestamp similarly for the price right now from this particular stage so this is the stage that we created right from this particular stage right give me this these values and put it in this particular table which has these columns this is what it means so let me just copy this copy command and go to the command line right let me come a little bit down and then let me just uh, in fact uh, give me a moment so now the moment i have copied it over here i have copied this copy command over here now moment i click on enter you will see that it starts getting copied and you will actually see that it says rows passed three rows loaded three error limit three error scene zero so there were zero errors and it has status as loaded now if i go back right and if i query my home sales you will actually see the data has been loaded now you can see that city zip state right the same values which which i have over here right now you can see the city right lexington right all the cities all the zip codes have been correctly populated similarly you know state we already knew it was ma then type residential everything you have got here right type residential if you remember while creating the table itself right while creating the table let me go back to the create table query right i have set that a type string default residential that is why residential has been uh, has been populated the default value for this particular column will be residential right and when you do copy command over here if you see in this copy command i have not specified the type right because this type by default i am taking as residential here so i don't need to put that type uh, you know column over here so this is how you can actually go ahead and uh, you know uh, parse the json and put the you know correct values in the table column in fact you can also do select star from uh, you know uh, what's the table name let me just check the table name home sales right let me just copy and put it over here in fact let me just write it home underscore sales right and just now the moment i do it you can actually see the data as well right this is the whole data that you have so this is how actually you can use json data right you can pass that json data instead or uh, instead you can you know just flatten that data and put it in separate columns in snowflake and using that snow sql so this is how uh, you know i just wanted to show you about uh, you know this how to load the json and thank you so much for being till here do remember to like share and subscribe my channel do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts and in case you're liking the series do let me know i'll you know i get motivated to create even more videos for the same topic else you know if i feel okay you are not very much interested in this particular topic we might start you know looking for uh, any other new tech stack as well so thank you so much for being till here